Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I'm not doing a topper review, although I am wearing the Savannah topper from Uni Wigs in Vanilla Butter Blonde, 16 inches. Rather, today I wanted to, to go over another uh, another thing that I tried to grow hair that unfortunately did not work for me. And what that is was acupuncture and some Chinese uh, Chinese supplements that that my acu that that my acupuncture doctor gave to me in conjunction with with acupuncture. I did this. I'm 39 now. I would have done. I did this when I was probably about um, 35. So it was a few years. It was about four years ago, and I did I did acupuncture on my scalp for about seven months, and I was going about twice a month. As well as taking as well as taking these hair growth supplements that this doctor formulated himself and and made himself, I was really excited to try this. This was a different kind of therapy that I had never tried before, and he told me that he had had a lot of success with with other with, with other patients and that that they were able to grow a lot of hair around their crown area. So very excited. I noticed within the first two months, which got me very excited, that there was a little bit of just a little bit of growth around the hairline. So that got me very excited. And since we're talking about hair loss, I'm going to take this topper off for the for the rest of the video, so you can see you can see what I'm talking about here. So when I first started the the acupuncture little tiny baby hairs grew around here which got me really excited and so whether that was the acupuncture or whether that was all or whether that was supplements the combination of the two and then as time went on uh there was there was nothing new and the even though the doctor was very nice he kept on trying to be hopeful and saying oh i i, I think i see growth there i said i think i see growth I didn't and I took before and after pictures there was there was nothing new that came out of the acupuncture or or taking the the supplements uh any of the any of the new growth I got after I stopped uh that that was gone we're talking it was just tiny tiny amounts so really nothing that really nothing that I can call a success in terms of that would have made seven months of acupuncture going twice a month and taking supplements worth it. It was, it was not worth it. Uh, there were supposedly people who did this treatment that, that were, that was able to regrow hair. That was not my experience. I don't regret doing it because sometimes until you try something, you don't know if it's going to work or not. It was disappointing, but I have no regrets about trying something for, for my hair loss. Uh, it was not, it was not, it was not very painful. So it was not invasive. It wasn't like I was going through anything that was really hurting my body. There was nothing, there, there, there were no negative impacts about the acupuncture. It honestly didn't even hurt at all. Uh, but it just was disappointing because it didn't work. So I can say for, for me, acupuncture and the Chinese herbal supplements that I received, it didn't work. But I am very hopeful that... I am going to find something that will work for my for my alopecia, from for my andro androgenetic alopecia, but acupuncture and supplements, it wasn't it. Until next time, thanks. Bye. Me again. Just wanted to remind you that I am not a doctor, and that anything that I'm recommending in these videos, whether it's medication or a treatment or anything that hasn't worked for me. This is just purely my own story, my own experiences. If you do want to try anything that I'm recommending or anything that even hasn't worked for me, please consult your healthcare professional before you go and try anything. Thanks. Bye.